Meow. No, do you see it? Do you? I know I do this a lot, but this. Oh, of course it's no, no, Paul. Where are you going? Oh, God, we're here again. Oh, I feel like going outside again. I love it out there. Oh, it's good to get some oxygen. <laughs> what the mould? I don't know what that does. Oh. <sighs> oh man, it's so nice out here. Get out once in a while, kids. Don't say kids, it makes me feel old. You know, I think the best part about being out here is just the whole mixture of everything. The fresh air, the breeze, and especially the water. I just love the sound of a little waterfall, you know, a little stream. If it weren't for the damn cars, I could close my eyes and just spirit away or something. Anyway, I just kind of felt like talking and just saying, I don't know, just how thankful for everything I am, I guess. I mean, to be honest, I feel like I don't really have that much of a great life most of the time. I mean, I mean it's my own making. I've... I'm lazy. I don't do anything. I don't currently have a good income or anything. And I pretty much don't do anything about it. And it really is... It really does have an effect on me sometimes, you know? Especially on the old, um visiting Florida front, because obviously I need quite a large sum of money to get a flight there and such. But other than all that, you know, I think I've got it quite good, other than that. I mean, obviously not having... where are you going? Wind! Obviously not having much of an income is a big problem. I mean, money makes the world go round, as we all know. But, at the same time, I've got a bunch of really good things that make me happy. I mean, I've got a wonderful partner. I've got a bunch of projects, like games that I'm making and all that, that really keep me inspired to, you know, well, I don't know, it's just fun making games. But I've also got like tons of games to play that I haven't even played yet, so they'll keep me going forever. But yeah, the main thing is, I've got this huge hobby on YouTube. I've got multiple channels, and I've got this big fan base, and I just wanted to say I really appreciate all you guys sticking around and supporting me through everything I do. I mean, it always used to be, I make all these games and I record all these things. This is back before I used to do pause gaming and stuff, but I used to record a bunch of random crap. And it's just, you know, what's it all for in the end? Sure, I have fun doing it, making games and all that, but in the end, who's going to play it, you know? Who's going to enjoy it? But now YouTube has helped me, like, get all my creations out there in the world. And all you guys have latched onto it like the parasites you are. No, I'm kidding! That was quite a silly one, wasn't it? I hope you can hear me, because this is very heartfelt. I'm going back indoors to meet Mr. Cardles. Cardles, you fluffy thing. Yeah! 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 yeah. Lockage. Lock! I'm lost! Lock! Oh yeah, I think I've said everything I actually wanted to now. Uh, yeah. I do it like every thousand subscribers on Piece of Pie software. And I always do these general appreciation videos just thanking you people. So there's only, there's only so many ways that I can actually say thank you. But yeah. Just sometimes I get in these moods, you know. 
I just want to give a big thank you to everyone. I used to just do all this for myself, make games and all this. But now I guess you consider that. I guess now you can consider that it can be considered. I don't know. I fell at speaking suddenly. Um. So, yeah. Now I guess it can be considered that I continue doing all this stuff for you people mainly. Because like, now I've got all these people out there who watch my videos and and enjoy my creations. And it's like there are people out there who will pl who will play and give feedback and people who look forward to my games. I mean, to be honest, there are times that I get kind of annoyed that people keep asking like, when will Rise Black 2 be finished? Uh, blah blah. Be quiet. I'll get to it when I get to it. But no, in the end, it's exciting because. No. It will be finished when it's finished, Cuddles. God. Whoop. But yes, in the end, all the comments and stuff, people asking when it will be done, and all that, it's actually a good thing. Because it's like, everyone, they're asking because they want to play it. They're asking because they look forward to it. And that's really great something I never had before YouTube. So all you people make me who I am today, kind of. Or at least make me part of who I am today. Oh look, he's coming to visit. Hi man. Oh, as if the day couldn't get any nicer. One of the cutest creatures in existence comes to visit. He had a bit of fluff hanging down in his eye. Well, not in his eye, but over his eye. Look, now you can look around more clearly. What's over there? Oh, a horse. You want that horse, don't you know? Oh, yeah, only dogs are supposed to spin around before they lay down. Why do logs... Logs? Why do dogs spin around three times before they lay down? I think it's three times anyway. I don't know. They spin around a bunch of times before they lay down. Weird. Anyway, yeah. That's about all I can really think to say. It just feels great to have all the support. You're one of the... All you people. You're pretty much the biggest driving force behind me continuing to make games and... record games and stuff. Because I have a lot of fun doing this. And just the thought that... there are people out there who look forward to playing my games. It's cool. So maybe... I don't know. I was thinking maybe I'll make a special video to show previews of a bunch of the many, many projects that I have on the go. Not all actively on the go, but, you know, projects that I've started. And I would like to continue working on just to see what interest there is in other games, you know. Because you've seen Virus Bloke now, you've seen the Geezer Adventure. But that's not even the half of it, Meladios. The Piece of Pie software library is ever-growing. And there's so much stuff in there that the world has never seen. It's a wealth. It's a, it's a literal vault of gaming goodness and oh yum yeah exactly that so I was gonna ask like how many of you are interested in seeing other stuff but you know I don't think I really need to ask because you've already shown that you support my projects and all that and I think all this support is what I really need now, because um, I assume most of you, well, a lot of you probably know about Ameriala. She was like the main owner of the company, and um, probably not many of you heard that she recently sort of dropped out. She made me the owner. Um, she's still in. 
she's still a member, but like she sort of gave up her role as the owner. I mean, we were both co-owners. We ran the thing together, but I am the main owner now, and she's been sort of missing in action, pursuing her own, pursuing her own stuff. So I'm pretty much a one-man game-making team now. But you can all consider yourselves part of the team as well. You may not actually be in like the company employees list, as it were. We don't really have employees, it's just a group of friends really, but you know, you all contribute in your own way. This isn't a vlog, this is Paul's talking, but it is a vlog. You know, I usually think I have trouble talking about this kind of stuff. I'm a bit disorganized and jumping around all over the place saying random shiz, hoping I get my point across. But I'm quite happy with how I've talked this time. I'm quite happy with how I made this come out. So yeah, just know you guys, you guys are the biggest thing that really keeps me going with all this stuff. So be happy! I know I am uploading Oblivion at the moment. Of course, you've probably already seen them by now. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching and listening and everything, and thanks for the continued support. It's just, it's great. And I could cry, but I won't because because only only the loss of pie makes me cry. <gasps> <laughs> Jesse, what are you doing? What was that? It was crap. <laughs> Prepare for trouble. No, bye. Anyway, yeah, thanks. There's some dudes coming down the drive, the drive, the road. They've got shiny things, and oh my god, he threw it. And the other one kicked it. I don't know what that is, but they look like some pretty tough kids. Oh shiz, I better run away. Oh my god, he's got a phone. He's like 12 years old and he's got a phone. Oh my god, I better get out of here before they... Oh shit, they've seen me. <laughs> Bing! Bye! Bing! Oh!